hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i make my ayamashi a fast way i make ayamashi today i feel like eating ayamashi i'm so desperate for ayamashi and i want to make it fast way you know not a big deal <laughs> and i would like to share with you guys how i make it so if you are someone out there you want to make ayamashi you don't know how to make it or each time you always go and buy it you know you can just make it fast way you can make it okay so first thing you need you need um bell pepper this is bell pepper as you guys can see green can you see and you also need green scotch bonnet i have two onions i have my seasoning cube two seasoning cube i have aromat if you don't have aromat you can use salt but if you have aromat do not bother with salt so i'll be using aromat instead of salt so i have my uh, beef a uh, shaki which known as tripe i have my cow foot and i also have vegetable oil and you can also use palm oil but because this is a fast way you can enjoy ayamashi and you can make it oh yeah you can make ayamashi fast way because if you want to use the palm oil you have to bleach your palm oil first and all that but we, we don't have time for that do we now <laughs> because we want to make fast ayamashi so now let's start cooking So now guys, I have my pot on the cooker. I'm going to add the meat. And I've peeled the two onions I showed you guys earlier. I'm just going to pour down there. And my seasoning cube. I'm going to put one. Remember guys, I showed two. So I'm just going to add one. I'm going to keep this for later. I'm going to add my aromat. As I said earlier, if you don't have aromat, you can use salt. Okay. We want our meat to be well seasoned, like that. And I'm going to add water. So I'm going to mix that. I'm going to close it till the meat gets soft to my taste. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out the onions, I'm going to put it in a bowl. I'm going to take out the shaki as well. My shaki is ready to my taste. I'm going to pull up that. So I'm going to leave the beef to cook for another five more minutes before I will come and take it off because the beef is still hard. You know, I like my beef soft and then we'll be back. So five minutes later, I'm going to take out my beef. So now my cow foot is still very hard so what i'm going to do i'm going to add water and i'm going to cook it for another 15 minutes because it's still very hard it's very hard i'm going to cook it for 15 minutes okay guys and then we'll be back in 15 minutes so guys my cow foot is ready i've taken it out from the pot and i've cleaned my pot so what i'm going to do add my vegetable oil not a lot yeah like that much and i'm going to start frying my meat now just a quick one guys this is my cow food it's nice and soft my beef and my shaki and this is the stock i'm going to use the stock in a minute as well so what i'm going to do before i start frying my meat i'm going to cut it into small pieces because it's too big If there's bone, I'm going to take out the bone. You can add the bone. You know, if you have someone that you like the bone, you add the bone.
So I'm going to pour my meat. I'm going to fry it to a turn golden brown. And this is the cow foot. I'm not going to fry the cow foot. I'm just going to pour it in my sauce the way it is. So before I start blending my pepper, I just want to quickly show you guys. So what I did earlier, I took out the seed. Can you guys see? And I um, rinse it and I pieces it. And that's my scotch bonnet. And this is the two onions I boiled when I was boiling my meat. I'm going to blend with it. So let's start blending. So guys, sorry, I'm so sorry. I've stopped blending before I remember I'm making video. So I've halfway blend. I'm going to continue blending it now. And I'm not using blender as you guys can see. I'm using food processor, yeah? You can use blender if you don't have pro food processor. And then when you finish using blender, because you have to add water when you are using blender. And if it's too watery, you can sift it. But because this does not need water to blend it, that's why I didn't add any water, so I won't be sifting it. So my meat is golden brown. I'm going to take it out from the oil. I'm going to add it to my cow foot. Can you guys see? So I'm going to continue the process till I finish blending. And one thing I want to tell you guys, when you are blending uh, the pepper, when you finish blending it, do not blend it and leave it for a few hours before start cooking it. Otherwise, it will go very, very bitter. So immediately you are blending it, you are pouring it on your oil or you are boiling it straight away. Okay? Because if you keep it, for example, if you blend it and keep it in the fridge and say, Okay, I'll cook it tomorrow or I'll cook it a few hours later. It will go very bitter. The only way you can prevent it from going bitter is when you want to make your sauce and you're not ready to make it completely. You can, when you finish blending it, you can boil it. Yeah, boil it for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then when it cool down, you can put it in the fridge till you are ready to uh, cook it. Okay, guys. Yeah, so let's start blending. So I have a leftover onions in my fridge, so I'm just adding it, yeah. So you can also add fresh onions and blend instead of boiling it with your meat before using to blend. You can blend fresh onions with it. You don't have to do it my own way. Okay, guys, yeah. So I'm going to close this to cook for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'll be checking on it while cooking. I'm going to miss my meat stock. going to taste for salt or for seasoning mm. so I show two maggi earlier I use one to boil the meat and now I'm going to use another one I'm not going to use the whole thing because it is two there I'm just going to use half 
So I'm going to squeeze that in there. I think to mix together. I'm going to taste. Mm. It's missing salt. So instead of me to add salt, I'm going to add aromat. That's enough. Going to miss, miss, and miss. Let me taste to make sure everything is okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So I'm going to close this for a few more minutes to cook. Then I'll be back. So now I'm going to add my meat. oh that smells so delicious so i'm going to cover it to cook and i'll be checking on it guys okay it's ready now guys and um, i also want to say if you like crayfish you can put um crayfish powder in the ayamashi or you can also put a uh, iru rocus beans i want to keep it plain today i do put it sometimes but today i didn't put it can you guys see and as you guys can see there's no much oil you can you can hardly see oil can you see i want to keep it like that i don't want too much oil so that is it guys thank you so much for watching and what you can eat this way quickly you can have it with white rice you can have it with beans, you can have it with okra and eba, you can have it with yam porridge or yam, fried yam, sweet potatoes, rice and beans, jollof fries, you know. <laughs> but the best thing to eat with that you enjoy is white rice. Okay, white rice and beans. So I'm dishing it now. Oh, that's delicious, guys. So guys, I'm having mine with rice, white rice. You guys see? Delicious. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. If you are new, please subscribe to see more. Thank you, guys. See you. Bye.